the, the final movie to that drastic park. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm kidding. What are you up to, uh, Kim and Rick? I just can't sleep. Who else can't sleep? I see there's a few people in here. I just can't sleep. Where I work night shifts, man, it's hard to go to bed when you're off work. Then if you sleep on your weekends, then come Monday when you got to work a night shift, you're fucking tired as hell, you know? I heard that, man. I heard that. Right, good to know, man. Ain't much going on. Especially when it's, like, cold out, you know? Yeah, it's been pretty nice here. I've been, you know, I've been trying to work on my car. I think I got a an e, ECM, uh, ECM sensor or something going out in my car and I looked it up man it's like a $500 part <sighs> yeah it's a little bit chilly up here man it's like I think actually I think it's like in the 40s today wasn't too bad man yeah it's like 47 today what I Forgot what you said. Where do you guys live at? I keep thinking North Carolina or somewhere like that. No, I man, you know, I get on here. I, I seem, well, I'm not even going to bring it up. I'm not even gonna mention anything about it because it's just gonna get more shit going that I don't want to deal with. You guys know how it is. Motherfuckers talk that are nobodies and they want to run their mouth and it's like, man, Donald's good. Donald's fine. I don't know why some other man would want to worry about another man uh, unless I mean unless he's that way. Must be that way. You worry about other men, but it's because you care. It's family men. You care Anthems. about like our son. And your oh, oh, brother. I see, bro. I see. Well, no, what my my? No, he didn't say nothing. Oh, uh, no, I'm saying you care about other men too, because they're like family members and you know your friends and. You know. Well, yeah, I care about people like that, but I don't give a shit about well, talking about know. some other man. And it, whatever he's got going on in his I life. I'm, I'm the one telling you not to talk about him and he just can't stop talking. Well, because it pisses me off. Every time you alive, I know, but it just keeps it going. I know, it just so keeps it going. You guys have to stop it and you know they ain't going. I don't make videos on these creeps. These guys are creeps to me. You are, but every time you make a video and you make Babe, one, please, come on. Just please. I turned the live on it. Talk to my friends, not you. I talk to you all day. <laughs> I talk to her all day, but when I turn my live on, she don't want to shut up. I'm not all 53 there today, huh? Nice, dude. Well, I tell you, it's coming, man. It's coming. And it gets cold up here in Minnesota. I don't know if it's last year or what, but it was hitting like 60 below, dude. Yeah, it might have been a couple years ago. I know one thing, it was cold as fuck, man. It was colder than Antarctica's Yeah. I see there's a few other people on here. You know, I haven't been on Facebook so long, guys, that... When you're not on Facebook so long, people tend to go away. You know, well, I've deleted a lot of people, too. It's the trolls, man. I can't handle the trolls, you know. And I'm just, I was I was telling the wife today, I'm just thinking about just shutting my Facebook down and deleting everything and 
for hell with the YouTube and all that and just live my life, you know? Just do me, man. But I got friends that I like to keep in contact with. You know, my, I just had a grandkid. I just became a grandpa. You know? I don't know if you guys seen her on my page or not. Well, it's hard. It's hard to say fuck the trolls when they're constantly grabbing a video of mine and making a videos of my shit and putting uh, putting pill bottles out like I'm on pills and all this shit. And you know, if my my work sees that shit, they'll fire me. You know. So it's yeah. <laughs> Which I don't care, you know. I just like the the last job. I've I, I even had to take drug tests for people, man, to get my job. What's up, Justin? Man, how's it going, bro? Did you figure out your car situation? I hope you did, man. I hope you did. Mine's mine's getting ready to take a shit. Well, we can't go on thanks, well, babe. Because it says that. That sensor also will scroll that code for the ECM. And then all the signs of a bad you know, oxygen. They don't know me, do they, Justin? <laughs> well, you know what it is, Justin. You got these people that live in other states that are behind their little keyboards and they want to be tough guys, you know, and talk their shit. But if they were standing three feet in front of you, you wonder, well, how much shit would they talk when they're standing in front of you? They wouldn't be talking that shit because they'd be laid the fuck out. <laughs> Dude, I got some. One second. Let me find my little... My little... Oh, Justin, dude. Colorado. Colorado. Colorado, baby. Mm -hmm. It's my last of my little bit, but... Oh, man, this shit is good here, baby. And, don't worry, I got me a card from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Coming in the mail, baby. Look at that. Oh, oh, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's come from Colorado here, though. There's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some good stuff here, buddy. This will put you right to sleep. I forget the name of it. Something with the W. Yeah, something with something with the W. Something with the W. But I'm gonna pack up my little one little one here. So yeah, man, I did I cooked my own turkey, did my own thing, man. Try to keep that flag out much as I can for you guys. I don't know, there's some haters, but oh well. That flag stands behind me because I'm a southerner. It don't mean that I'm a hater of blacks. Just so you know. I got black friends. I don't hate blacks. That's just that's just my flag of proud of being a southerner. But yeah, dude. So did you figure out your car situation, bro? I seen I seen it was up. You had something on the face. My phone is trying to reconnect and do all that bullshit, guys. So 
You might try to see a jump off here. Well, I I turned my. Uh... Oh, so you want to visit? Oh, you want to come on me? Hell yeah, I'll accept you. I'll accept you. It's about uh, rainbows and sunflowers. Rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, about, yeah. What are you, you know, up to? You got a Tinker Bell. I got a Tinker Bell. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then, you know, we started up Get Her Done production. Hey, we need to, huh? Well, <laughs> I didn't get big enough. It's only, it's only. Hey, so, what the hell is going on? Did you get you some wheels? Yep, got, oh man. I, it was a hell of a day on Thanksgiving. I, oh, I got pulled over eight squad cars in front of the house. What? Yeah. Why? Um, well, you know, just, I tell you, they flipped their lights and I didn't know what was going on and I had, a couple buds on me and Will. Shit, I said, fuck it. I'm only seven houses away. I said, fuck it. I'm pulling in my driveway for my safety and theirs. Well, right. I, got, I got a felony uh, fleeing police. No. Yeah. From like, from like where Dave used to live, like that kind of far away. Like that yeah. kind of far away. Yeah, pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. Like five, uh, oh seven, my. Well, I thought, I thought any, it, it was over a mile. Uh, no, hell no. Was so is anything under a mile? That's not fleeing police. Nope. I mean, yeah. I know they might have changed the laws a lot, but I know when I ran from the cops, I didn't go over a mile because, uh, you know, things happened to where, thank God that my cousin pulled the e brake, or who knows, I might still be in yeah. jail. Well, they, the, the reasoning for them pulling, pulling me over is that my taillight was out. Well, when I went and got the uh, when I went and got the car this morning, Lee was following me in the truck, and she says, "All your taillights work." She took a picture of that shit. No, well, I'm just gonna let it play out in court and let them fuck themselves. Over. Well, you need evidence. You need evidence for your side, so take a picture of it. Yeah, and what you need to do is go down there by that tow yard. And make sure you get your truck and that tow yard sign in the picture with your tail light. Yep. Well, it's all on video when they pull you over anyway. So that's... You're right. You're on, right. Absolutely. It's all on video. Yep. You so got that when right. We, go to court, like, yeah, we pulled you over because you had a uh, tail light out. Well, let's see the video camera. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, "Well, why did you flee?" And I said, "Dude, I'm, I said I had I had some marijuana on me." He says, "We don't give a fuck about that." And I said, "I don't know." And I said, "With all the okay. shootings that you guys are shooting people here in Brooklyn Center," I said, "I pulled in my driveway. You're safe. I'm safe. My wife can see. You know, right? Yeah. Wow. So, so they're saying. So they're, did you go? You went like speeding or nothing? You just normal? Yep. I just opened uh, into the house. Yeah, yeah, put your blankers and shit on. Or, yeah. or was that straight away? No, no. It was just right down the block from my house. It was just a straight away, straight to your yeah. house? No, yeah, no stop signs or nothing? No, no, no. Well, hell, I'd say I, my house is right there. So, you know, it's. Yeah. I was just kidding. Yeah, the my... They said, you know, if the cop flips his lights on you, you have your Fourth Amendment right, which has allowed you to pull over. And be in a safe area, you know. Well, there was cars coming, and well, I didn't feel that was safe, so I said, "Fuck it, I'm only seven houses away." Right, right. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, maybe they need yeah. their. Uh, hey, maybe they need their. Yeah, the wife, the wife is calling me. Let, let me, know, let me call back maybe they their... uh, <laughs> What was it, Justin? Oh, he's got to get off here. Yeah, that's fucked up, brother. Seven miles is a lot, though. Well, no, uh, you know. That's what it said there before it cut out. Seven miles. Oh, that's seven miles? That's why they're saying Yeah. Because he went seven miles. If you went like seven miles, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah they might. Yeah, my buddy, man. That's fucked up. I hope he gets out of it, man. 
Just like my cousin got out the other day. I'm glad he's out. I hate to see anybody in a place and like before that. Thanksgiving, so and before Thanksgiving. And before Thanksgiving. And I'm glad he got to have Thanksgiving with the family. I really am. I love my family, man. I don't want to see nothing bad happen to my family. I, want to I got a cousin in prison right now up here in Minnesota. I mean, he gets out. Huh? Yeah, he kind of does. That hurts super bad right now. Really? Yeah. That's your that's that surgery, I think. It looks like it's even bumped out. Yeah, it's all, oh man, it does look red there. The wife had her uh, bunionectomy in her, uh, in her, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, I had a bunionectomy and a hammer toe crack. Hammer the toe. Time, and the second time I just had a bunionectomy. Yeah, she had a, she had a hammer toe correction and a fucking something else with her feet. And now it's, and it's been, what, about a This one, it's been like two years now. Yeah. And the other one? I've already done the other one. The other one's only been like seven, six, seven months. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's about seven well, months. It was like April. Is that, that the one that's hurting? No, this is the first one they did. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right, guys, I'm off here.